Hi everyone, it's me again. This is Monica with SweetFake.com. Here are some of the supplies that we are going to need for today's craft. We're going to be making a very sweet treat that will double as a Christmas tree ornament if you'd like. Or it can just go into your sweets dis displays. Here's my favorite clay, Great Creations Faux Cupcakes Foam Clay. She has a lot of different colors and um, I love the fact that I can get everything that I need usually without having to wait. Give her a try. So we're going to use some foam board that I picked up at Dollar Tree. Um, it doesn't matter that it's pink or white, that has no relevance to it, but I just traced out two circles that we're going to be putting on the top of these two ice cream bowls, paper, paper ice cream bowls. That's a toilet paper uh, roll. Yep, you were right. <laughs> and we're going to be cutting that in half and gluing it to the bottom of each one of these cupcake um, cups. And that's going to give us some stability for when we place the top foam sheet that we cut out on top just to make it a little bit stronger and, and uh, give it something to adhere to. Gives a little bit more weight in the bottom of it as well since we're going to be um, putting some stuff on the top. We don't want it to be too top heavy. <laughs> Here I'm going to be adding some trim around the top of these. I was showing you the back seam so that you can always remember to start back there and work your way around. Worst thing you could do is have a project get finished and then you look down at it and find out that the seam is showing right in the front. We crafters, we always pick the best side, so it's just a quick little <laughs> reminder. I didn't have quite enough of the white pom-poms to go around the second container, so I went ahead and found some gold trim that I had laying around, and I quite frankly like that the both of them are different. I like that there are two different styles. You can use any kind of trim that you find, or you may choose to leave the trim out. It's completely up to you. The point is just to have fun and use your creative hands to create something Interesting. Taking out our foam clay, and what we're doing now is just stretching and pulling and pushing. It's called conditioning our clay.
Here I'm using a textured silicone mat. And you'll be able to find those in my Etsy shop very soon. Sweetcake.com Etsy.com And here I have a couple of macarons that I had already made using a mold. They've dried. You can use uh, freshly made macarons. Just be gentle when you're using them and glue them onto the top. I'm going to be taking this small rope and spiraling it around, sort of on top of each other, each, each row a little higher and higher, and then leaving enough on the end to put a loop, and then I'm going to put a small dowel in there to keep the loop from collapsing while it dries, and that's going to go on top of our macaron, and it's going to be kind of like the hanger that you would have on the top of an ornament, only it's made out of clay. And then we're going to paint it gold, glue it onto the top, And this is where we just glued those little tops to the top of the macarons. Then we're going to add a little bit of Mod Podge, um, or you could use glue, it doesn't matter. And then we're going to be using that, just painting it on to the top of the white surface of clay and sprinkling the sprinkles on top. And of course, as you know, with all of our fake bake projects, we don't use real sprinkles as it will attract insects. So always use faux sprinkles, and you can find those in my shop, as well as many, many other shops on Etsy. We 
just gave it a once over seal and now I'm giving it a good sprinkle with some snow, artificial snow. And look how sparkly it turned out. These were definitely a fun, easy project. I hope you give them a try. Oops, can't forget to put a bow on the front. 